When you look at Elizabeth Wired, you might not suspect anything was ever wrong. It's when I just started being like, why don't I remember her name? Like, I'm looking right at you. People she worked with as a nurse at UF Health Jacksonville became hard to remember. Her headaches persisted into migraines, and she was starting to lose her vision. I think I even jokingly said, oh, I have a brain tumor. I have to. That joke turned into her nightmare. Dr. Dariush Tavanapur tells me she had a mass putting pressure on the brain, causing her entire brain to shift. Why is it so risky when you're going into a surgery? Well, first is the, the stakes are high, right? She's a precious human being. And the only way to get to this without not going through brain. Who knows what the outcome will be and if I will, you know, ever, if I will wake up, if I will be any of who I was. Wired's brain tumor was in her head for about 15 years. It was the size of a golf ball. It took 18 hours to remove it. So the skull, we create a window, like a, a rectangular shaped window, and we remove that bone. And then there's a covering, we open the covering in the brain, and then now you're looking at literally healthy, precious brain. Wired went from nurse to patient and then back to nurse. The mass was fully removed and now she has a closer relationship with her patients. So I can see like, oh, I can see why they're so anxious and you know, you just tell patients, relax, relax, and but they just can't and I can go like, I understand. Reporting in UF Health Jacksonville, Caitlin Chana, CBS 47, Action News Jax.